This is the Asus RTAX 53U Wi-Fi router and let's right away jump into setting it up. Uh, first of all, let's power up the router. So let's take the power adapter, plug it into power outlet. Then you need to uh, toggle the switcher up. It's toggled up already. Now you see the glowing uh, blue indicator above the power icon. Uh, so the rotor is on. Uh, now we need to connect the rotor to the internet source. Whatever you use, uh, DSL, cable modem, ONT, uh, you need to plug in one end of the ethernet cable uh, into your in internet source. Uh, and the second end, in, plug into the WAN port on your router. WAN port is a separately stained blue one. Uh, now we're all set, we are ready to uh, connect and let's use the smartphone application first. Later I'll show you old school uh, web interface connection method. Uh, so you need Asus router application installed in your smartphone and if you have this application open it if don't get an open anyway uh, you need to get to this screen and uh, then tap on setup tap on Asus Wi-Fi routers then enable camera and scan so let's scan the QR code on the bottom of the router so you are prompted to connect to Wi-Fi network of this baby. Uh, prompted one, one more time. Um, maybe on your smartphone model you will not have the last the, the letter prompt, so never mind. Just connect to Asus uh, Wi-Fi network. If in some reason you can't scan a QR code, you need to go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the ASUS network manually. Uh, okay, the router is found, so let's get started. Detecting your internet connection. Now, uh, next screen. If there is special requirement from your ISP to assure your authorized internet with VLAN tag and IPTV streaming, please check uh, ISP uh, profile. So I'm not checking this. Uh, so here you need to create your Wi-Fi network ID. Let it be Asus Wi-Fi. Uh, network passwords, it'll be simple so far. Of course, you go ahead to uh, create a stronger password. Here you can separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands or keep the network unified. I prefer to keep the unified network. Uh, set up local login account. Set up your Asus router admin username and password. Let's go simple here as well. Uh, but we can't go too simple here. We, we are required to enter at least six symbol passwords. Okay. Let's apply. Now the network is set up and it takes a few minutes to complete the process to reactivate network. Okay, in the meantime, let's go to the Wi-Fi settings and look for a new network. You need to wait for the ASUS Wi-Fi network to appear here. Let's go back to application and 
check one more. So once the process is completed, you are prompted to save this network. Let's tap on save. And I think now we can go and connect. Oh, it's already connected. So Asus Wi-Fi is set up. Now we have some network optimization. Now everything is finally done and we see this summary screen. We see Wi-Fi name and password, uh, administrator panel name and password, tap on finish and you're all set. Now you are in the application home screen, enable remote connection. Let's skip it for now. This is not a focus for this video. Uh, you see oh, real time traffic, so beautiful. You see connected devices. Uh, some family settings, some general settings, uh, but let's go ahead. I'll show you one more way uh, to connect uh, your Asus router. And so let's walk through classic browser setup. So make sure that you have this lighting set on your router, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, internet, and of course power, and then continue uh, in your browser. So first of all, you need to open the Wi-Fi settings on your computer. By the way, you can do the same in mobile browser, but you know, application is much better if you use if you use a smartphone. So uh, let's let's continue on desktop. Okay, uh, open your Wi-Fi settings. Find the Asus network in the network list. In this case, this is Asus 38. You may have the different number here. So connect to this network, then open any browser and in the address bar type in the following MAC address, sorry, IP address. No. I'll write it down or later you can Google for it or find it in the router's user manual. So this is the default gateway for your Asus router. And here on this welcome screen, click create a new network. Uh, special requirement from ISP. No, we don't have special requirements and create the network name. Wireless security, let's create passwords. Uh, as in application, you can separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz network. If you check this box, you'll be asked to enter uh, different names and different passwords for different bands. But let's let's keep it simple. Apply and. This is the router login name and password. By the way, I recommend you to write down at least the admin password because if you forget it, you need to restart your router and set up, set up it from scratch. So have to wait, have to be patient. So internet connection setting is finished. Uh, so you have changed SSID security set settings. Well, uh, this is your summary, same as an application. Now you have the summary page uh, with the difference that in some reason I don't see my admin password here. Uh, so anyway, remember your admin password and you, you can continue, you can uh, try to connect to new network. The network's name is MyISOS. If you don't see the network, try to uh, restart the Wi-Fi on your computer. That's it, my ASUS connects. Enter password. Mm -hmm. 
it's connected. I don't want to save the password for now. And as in the case with the application, now you are in the router's uh, settings menu. Uh, but this is not a focus uh, for this time. Uh, I want to show you one more thing. Even if you connected your router via web interface, you can still manage it in application. But first of all, uh, you, you have to connect your smartphone to the Asus network. Here is my Asus. No, no, this. My Asus. Uh, once again, enter password. Save the network. Once connected, go to the application. And now you can manage this router from application. Same as from the web interface. So guys, now you're all set. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye guys.